is the symbol of European Masons' suppression of the Asiatics, our people. This is an Egyptian man's face in the center of that crescent, and the crescent is broke down to a starting point. You see, this crescent is at a 90 degree angle. Once you turn it this way, or, or, or facing this way, it's a 180 degree angle. When you face it up, it's a 270 degree angle. When it's facing like this, it's a 360 degree angle. They got us back at a starting point and holding us there with a scimitar. That ain't a sword, it's a scimitar. And the scimitar is a double-edged sword. And the scimitar is always symbolic of the truth. By it having a double edge, it means it can cut for you or against you. So they holding us down by maintaining the truth about who they are and who we are. The reality is about this political structure, what it's designed to do, who it's designed to protect. You think you just happen to be struggling today in this land of opportunity and your mama was struggling, your grandparents were struggling, your children are going to struggle. Because how they got it designed is to make sure that this system is promoting the welfare of the European bloodlines over any other nationality inside of the Americas, the Shriners Jewel. What do they call the Department of Defense? The Pentagon. Yeah. Well, the only way you get a Pentagon is when the point is north. You see? And so this Pentagon, the rest of the world know what it symbolizes. Our people don't. The only way you get a Pentagon where the point is north is if you have an upside-down five-pointed star. And an upside-down five-pointed star is the symbol for witchcraft. And they call the Department of Defense the center of wickedness, witchcraft activity. They the center of it. And they'll even put the Baphomet goat head inside of it where it got a horn here, a horn here, the goat's face right there, yeah. his beard there, etc. Understand who you playing with. These people do it, they dead serious. Right. I know I might have problems after giving them this information. But I ain't worried because I know the power that's behind me is greater than the power that's against me. You see? I'm worried about what God gonna do to me if I don't come forward with the information. Cause you can't have this kind of information and hold it to yourself. No, I'm trying to warn my people. Pay attention. Support your own self and kind. Support your own self and kind. Support your own self and kind. Anytime you're dealing with a red shield, Rothschild means red shield. They own the Salvation Army and the Red Cross. They got you donating your money to the Salvation Army and the Red Cross. So they can keep all theirs. They're going to spend what you donate. They Masonically owned and operated. The Rothschilds is a part of the Rosicrucian Society of Masons. They filthy rich already. They don't need a dime from you. But they got it set up like philanthropy organizations where they'll take donations from you, spend your money. They so corrupt that the Red Cross or the Rothschilds, the Rosicrucians, will, side, will fund. They will fund both sides of a war. And this is how come any... Helicopter that's flying the Red Cross on the side of it could fly behind enemy lines. Because both sides know not to shoot it down because that's who's giving them their funding. This is who you're playing games with. This is who you're up here playing with. And the feds. This will be the last symbol I give you tonight. But the feds. No, it's more. It's, it's several more. Like I told you, I need to go two parts to this, I but I want them. people to go back and watch this one yeah. and absorb what's inside yeah. of it because yeah. I ain't trying to overload them, yeah. nor yeah. am I trying to give them an a, a eargasm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give them information. They can go research card reference. They may be able to hit me, inbox me, and tell me more than they can find. Well, I After I found out so much, I got so disgusted, I stopped studying it. Wow. You know, but the feds, seven inches tall, seven the number of perfection. It has a tassel that's 12 inches long. What measurement instrument has 12 inches in it? A measuring stick. What other name do we call it? A ruler. A ruler. Because you suppose when you're down in this fence, you're supposed to be the ruler of this plane of existence. You see what I'm saying? The tassel rotates 360 degrees, wow. symbolizing the total knowledge of what it is you say you practice. And they designed, the Mason designed the mortarboard or the graduation cap on the same science. Where it's got, but they deal in a square instead of a circle. So here it is, you got them 490 degree angles again. You got the tassel at the top that's 12 inches long. And who's ever said to be graduating is supposed to be a ruler inside of whatever sphere of activity they're supposed to be. So if you practice science, you're supposed to be a ruler in that. You see what I'm saying? But I don't really pay much applause to 
European accolades as way of degrees because you're being trained to jump. I applaud your sacrifice, your dedication, your mentality, your resilience to accomplish what you accomplished. You see what I'm saying? But as far as them giving, you can't show me Jesus' degree. Where's Abraham's degree? Where's Moses' degree? You see what I'm saying? So I don't always honor that. They'll give you a master's degree. But then you'll graduate from that school and still looking for work. Hold up. If you're a master, you're supposed to be able to make work. Exactly. They ain't doing it but training you to be a part of a workforce. No matter what degree they give you, they're training you to be a part of a workforce. Exactly. Exactly. In closing. I'm going to get out. I got in closing. <laughs> there was a mouse. And this mouse was inside of the farmer's house. Sound like a riddle, don't it? Uh -huh. And so this mouse one day noticed that the farmer went and bought a mouse trap. And it got hysterical about it, like, man, he's trying to kill me. So he watched the farmer set the mouse trap, put the cheese in it. As soon as the farmer went to sleep, the mouse ran out of the house. He went and told the cow, hey, cow, man, the master bought a mouse trap, he's trying to kill me. The cow said, so what? That ain't got nothing to do with me, beat it. He ran and told the pig, hey, pig. The mouse bought a, the farmer bought a mouse trap. He trying to kill me. The pig says, "So what? Scram! Get out of here!" He ran and told the chicken, "Hey, chicken! The mouse, the farmer bought a mouse trap. He's trying to kill me." The chicken says, "So what?" The mouse walked back in the house with his head down, went in his little hole. Next day, next morning, he heard a snap. Pow! He looked out his hole. It was a rattlesnake stuck inside the trap. The farmer's wife came around the corner. The rattlesnake bit the farmer's wife. She took gravely ill. She got a fever that was burning high, et cetera. She on her deathbed because of the snake bite. Uh -huh. And so they knowing she gonna die uh -huh. and people said he coming to visit. Uh -huh. So the first thing that the farmer did, he went and slayed the chicken to make enough meat for the family that was coming past to see her and try to deal with her in her dying days. You see what I mean? Okay. Now, after she passed, he ended up slaying the pig, you know what I'm saying, to make enough food through the week for the family that would, would, be, would be visiting the house. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And after the funeral, after the repast, he ended up having to slay the cow because the whole town came to the funeral. So he ended up slaying the cow to have enough meat to feed the whole town. And so the case in this story is that sometimes you may think that something ain't got nothing to do with you. But it may end up costing you more than the person that it was designed to do something to. Yeah, you yeah, see what I mean? So yeah. we just trying to make y'all aware. We thank y'all for y'all support. Mm -hmm. All praises be to the most high. Yes, sir. And uh, I ain't going to promote no business or nothing like that. Because that ain't what this is about. But thank y'all for all y'all support to the Rude Awakening. Rude Awakening. We, we may do part two of Signs and Symbols off of Conscious Minds next week. We may not because I really want people to digest what was just given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But stay tuned in. We love y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support. Hats off to all the entrepreneurs, all of the people that's about love and positivity. Hats off to y'all. Mm -hmm. Death to the joy jackers. You see what I'm saying? If you're yeah. on negativity, man, stay at home. Yeah. Stay at home, man. We, don't even, we ain't got time for negativity. And see, sometimes the truth is closer to what's not said than what's said. You go. Sometimes you ain't even got to open your mouth when we know you're on negativity. Mm -hmm. You can walk in the room and tell they was talking about you even though they ain't said a word. Exactly. Keep y'all negative but somewhere else. Exactly. Negativity is in, in 2018. Positivity is in 2019. Oh, love. All love. Love. Peace and love. Rude awakening. Rude awakening. Let me pick up some of this stuff I threw all around. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir! <laughs> a lot of information, man. We were 15, what we started. I don't care. So it ain't a full 15 minutes over. I don't know what. Because I like what we're doing with the intro. We let that ride, and you know, yeah. then we get into the information.